everyone in this video we'll talk about several tricks that can be used to do the same kind of calculation and uh, i will start with a simple example for example uh, this is 95 so if i'm doing the square of 95 there are several ways you can do that uh, so first very simple way is you can just take the first digit and you multiply by increment of it so that will be 9 into 9 plus 1 that will give you 90 and then you just add 25 in the end so 25 will always remain same if you have 5 in the end so that will give you 90 uh, 25 uh, another way to do the same square is so you so if you don't remember this trick right so you can always write this as 95 multiply by 100 minus 5 right so this uh, gets uh, again simple so it's 9500 minus 95 multiply by 5 so 95 multiply by 5 if you think about it it's not that hard it's just 500 minus 25 and 500 minus 25 uh, is 425 and uh, then you have to subtract oh sorry it's not 425 it's 475 and then you have to subtract it from 9500 zero, zero. so that will give you 9025 uh, so I know this is uh, more steps but uh, sometimes we don't remember the tricks and uh, this is more universal you can apply that to this method uh, in various uh, circumstances even if it's not 5 it's 6 in the end right uh, so what is the another method so another method is that uh, uh, you can say 95 square as you can write it as 95 square minus 5 square plus 5 square so how did I come up with 5 because it's 5 away from 100 so this one is 95 is 5 away from 100 right so what we can do this now is 95 minus 5 and 95 plus 5 plus 5 square so if you remember a square minus b square is equal to a plus b a minus b so that will make it simpler it will be equal to 90 multiply by 100 plus 5 square so that will give you 9025 again so these were the uh, three different methods you can use to do the same kind of calculation so when uh, you are doing a lot of calculation your brain will automatically start to just explore this uh, methods and whatever methods uh, is quicker because every for every number some methods could be faster some could be slower so which depends on the number you are calculating you you will be able to choose the right method to do the calculation very quickly in your mind sometimes you can do the parallel calculations and see which one is easier and to get to the answer so we'll we'll talk about more of these uh, examples in our next video and uh, so, I'll see you next time. Thank you.